Discovered on Christmas Day last year, we have an asteroid moving at 67,000 miles per hour and it's on a collision course to hit our planet in the year 2032. Wait to hear this. Scientists have named it 2024 YR4 and it's about 100 meters in diameter and that's roughly the size of a football field. This asteroid has been propelled to number one on the Sentry Risk Table. That's a list of asteroids that could potentially impact planet Earth within the next 100 years. And 2024 YR4 is ranked number one. Scientists believe that this is not an extinction level event asteroid, but it is a city killer. And if it were to impact the surface of our planet, it would throw up debris into the atmosphere and block out the sun for God knows how long. This would lead to starvation of the masses. And in this scenario, a mass extinction could occur. If this asteroid strikes the surface of our planet, it will be the biggest explosion on the surface of planet Earth for more than 2,000 years, easily dwarfing the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated. And get this, we only discovered this asteroid on December the 27th, 2024, and that was after it made a close approach to our planet on Christmas Day, December the 25th, 2024, when it passed within 515,000 miles of our planet's surface. Undetected, nonetheless. Astronomers only discovered it two days after it passed and the estimated diameter is 100 meters, comparable to the size of the Tunguska event asteroid. Preliminary analysis indicates that this is a stony S-type or an L-type asteroid with a rapid rotation period of about 19.5 minutes and the chances of impact are growing as the weeks roll on. As of February 2025, the asteroid has a 1.6 chance of impacting Earth on December the 22nd, 2032. This probability is based on a 41-day observation arc and is subject to change as more data is collected. If this asteroid were to impact our planet, the risk corridor spans a wide area, including the eastern Pacific Ocean, the northern and South Americas, the Atlantic Ocean, Central Africa, the Arabian Sea and South Asia. The exact location cannot be determined just now until closer to the event. An impact scenario would release energy equivalent to 20 megatons of TNT, and that's roughly 500 times the energy of the SAR bomb. This could cause severe devastation with blast damage extending up to 100 miles from the impact site. And if it strikes a densely populated area, it will cause millions of casualties and significant infrastructure damage. However, if it does explode in the atmosphere, just like the Tunguska event did, it would likely cause an airburst and widespread shockwaves instead of a crater. The asteroid 2024 YR4 is rated level 3 on the Torino Impact Hazard Scale, indicating a close encounter with a good chance of localised destruction. This is the second highest rating ever given to an asteroid after Asteroid Apophis, which is due to make a close encounter with our planet. Passing by the surface at 17,000 miles or less on Friday, April the 13th, in the year 2029, Apophis is the size of the Empire State Building and if it were to strike our planet in 2029, it would cause unparalleled destruction. But asteroid 2024 YR4 is currently moving away from the Earth and will become too faint to observe by April of this year, 2025. And we won't, we won't be able to see this asteroid again until June 2028, when it makes another close encounter passing by the Earth at 20 lunar distances. This asteroid has triggered an international response. The International Asteroid Warning Network and the Space Mission Planning Advisory Group are coordinating global efforts to track the asteroid 
and plan potential mitigation strategies, such as spacecraft deflection missions. Astronomers say that this asteroid's potential impact is comparable to the 1908 Tunguska event, where a similar sized object exploded over Siberia, flattening 2,000 square kilometres of forest. Millions upon millions of trees were flattened, but there were no known casualties. So we won't know more about this object until 2028, when astronomers hope to gather more data of the asteroid's trajectory and help refine its orbit and impact probability. By 2028, during the observations, the uncertainty in its trajectory should be clarified. If the threat persists beyond 2028, and the impact in 2032 is confirmed, potential mitigation strategies, including kinetic impactors like NASA's DART mission, gravity tractors, or even laser-based deflection systems. But China say they want to put a nuclear bomb up into space and blow it to smithereens. While the probability of impact is yet to be confirmed for sure, and that won't take place until 2028, 2024 YR4 is a significant object of concern, and this is due to its size and potential for devastation. Astronomers are actively monitoring it, and further observations in the coming years will be critical in determining whether it poses a real threat, but for now the focus is on gathering data and preparing for potential mitigation efforts. This is the first time that the United Nations have activated the Planetary Security Protocol, where all these groups will collaborate to monitor the asteroid's trajectory and assess possible mitigation strategies. Experts emphasise that there's no immediate cause for alarm. Dr Robert Massey of the Royal Astronomical Society notes that the probability of impact is low and ongoing observations are expected to refine the asteroid's projected path, and that's likely to reduce the risk of impact. The European Space Agency is closely monitoring the situation and has stated that while the asteroid's size and impact probability are near the thresholds for concern, it is premature to take concrete action. The European Space Agency plans to continue observations and will re-evaluate the situation in the coming months. While this asteroid presents a risk of impact for planet Earth, the consensus among experts is that they want to think that they have it under control, with a high likelihood that further observations will show no cause for concern. But that all seems hopeful, and planning for the worst case scenario? That is probably in everybody's best interests.